Hi everyone, welcome back to EV channel. Today we are going to demonstrate how a DC motor acts like an regenerative braking or an regenerative motor and how an EMF is generated when you remove the supply. The basic connections we are, we are going to show here is, so we are having a positive supply and negative supply. We have been directly connected to an three point starter. You can see here the positive supply is directly connected to the L point. So positive supply is directly connected to the L point and through the field winding we are going to connect the Z, it is nothing but field winding. So this is nothing but starter field winding, we are connected to the bottom and the variable rheostat we are connected to the Z and ZZ we are returning back to the negative. So this part we have been connected. Now coming to the armature, so we are giving in order to change from motoring mode to generator mode, we have been kept an a two way switch to demonstrate that phenomena. So initially we are keeping in this mechanism automatically you can see here. So the supply will directly go to this input and when now the switch is in first position, the current will go to the armature and automatically it will try to function like an a DC motor. Whenever it is functioning like a DC motor, then we will remove the supply then automatically it goes to the generator mode in order to verify how much voltage they are going to generate we have been connected at the output a digital voltmeter and an original lamp so both will show how much amount of voltage they are going to be generated this is all about the schematic diagram of how to explain regenerative braking so now coming to the concept hope the diagram is very clear so from positive supply we connected to the line and from the three point starter Z we have been connected to the rheostat, output of the rheostat we are connected to the field winding. So this is this part and coming to the armature, so we need to switch from motoring mode to generator mode. So first it will be in position 1 which is like a motoring mode and later on we will move the switch to the second position, it will go to the generator mode. In order to identify the voltage, we are connecting an voltmeter as well as the bulb, okay. Let us try to demonstrate uh, the mechanism. So initially what you have to do is, first we have to, the connections are well established and given, see that the field rheostat should be in minimum resistance position. Whenever the field rheostat is minimum resistance position, then maximum current can flow and motor will slowly start, okay. So this is actually what the procedure required to start an DC synchronous motor. After giving the connections, just turn on the supply. As soon as you turn on the supply, it will directly show how much voltage is available to the panel. So after giving the supply to the panel, we need to start this DC shunt motor with the help of an three point starter. So this is nothing but three point starter, slowly hold the three point starter and try to rotate. You can see here the DC shunt motor has started rotating with the required speed. So now you can see here the DC motor is rotating with required speed and now this is similar very simple. So DC supply is given to the field winding which is nothing but the field winding as well as the supply is given to the armature winding. So armature winding is nothing but uh, the rotor, field winding is nothing but the stator therefore it is performing excellent leads DC motoring action. Now let us try to demonstrate it. So how to demonstrate it is, so now this is original motoring mode. Now I am giving supply only to the field winding, I mean I am giving supply only to the rotor, I mean I am giving supply only to the stator and I am collecting the EMF from the stator. You can see here the how the EMF is generated in the armature, you can see here. So the bulb is glowing, now you can see here the motor which was acting is now trying to act like an generator and you can see the EMF, that is how it is acting. So once again, I am trying to exit it and you can see here, now it is trying to act like an motor, okay. So this actually what is happening in an electric vehicle, but here we are giving some supply to the field winding and EMF is generated in the armature, but you have to remove the supply, okay. So now what we are going to do is, uh, we are trying to run it in motoring action and we are trying to change into the supply and we are going to turn off. You can see the voltage, still the rotor is rotating, you can see the voltage is 6.43 volts, so still the rotor is rotating 
and EMF is generated, you can see the voltage 5.6, 5.5, 5.4, 5 still it is rotating. So this EMF is called back EMF, indirectly this is called regenerative braking mode of operation. So you can see still the voltage is generated where this power is called regenerative power. That's how a DC shunt motor acts like an generator in an electric vehicle application. This is how to demonstrate. So you can see the bulb. Why the bulb is not glowing is the voltage is very minimum, it is unable to catch. So now again we will try to show how it switches. Now we can see here the vehicle has run with an required speed and has to come to an zero speed. And once again I am trying to bring it to the original condition. So once again turn off the supply and give the AC, I mean give the DC supply, it will show the required voltage. We had already removed the supply, therefore the three point, I mean three point starter has came to the original condition. Once again, I am by use of three point starter, I am exciting my motor. So this excitation is nothing but how you drive an electric vehicle. Now we are trying to drive an electric vehicle. Now the electric vehicle is running or the motor is happening. So now we want to switch it from motoring action to generating mode of operation. You can see here, excellently the motor is running. Now we are exciting only the field winding. So the field winding is present in stator. So we are exciting only the stator and EMF will be produced in the rotor that EMF we are going to collect here and how much that is directly indicated in the meter as well as in the meter. You can see here this is in DC supply and the voltage is shown here. Let us try to convert it to mode of operation. Now I am removing the acceleration to my electric vehicle. Okay. I removed the axle to the electric vehicle, you can see the voltage generated, this is nothing but the voltage generated by an, a DC generator and you can see here I am removing the complete excitation, still it is trying to have the voltage 4.7, 4.8, we have to use a bucker boost converter to increase this voltage level which will help us in regenerative braking. See here still this voltage is maintained, this voltage has to be boosted up and automatically the electric vehicle can charge off its own. So this is how to demonstrate uh, how a DC motor acts like a generator. So this indirectly I can call technical as back EMF. So we are making use of back EMF and we are trying to generate the power by using an uh, DC shunt motor experiment. Hope we are able to understand that uh, how we are generating a regenerative power from an DC motor application. So thank you for watching. If you feel that video is useful, please like and share to your friends. Thank you for watching.